Well, good evening, Bellwood Quizzes, and welcome, 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 welcome to week 62, June the 11th, 2021. Another five quizzes this week, three general knowledge, one called Say What You See, and another one called Picture Play. So a couple of picture rounds this week. Stop your cheating with your little electronic 
friends. Uh, hello, Zoe, Julie. Hiya. Uh, Jane and John Stewart. Claire Hulton. Hello. You won't believe it's week 60. I don't care. And good evening. Bob, who are Janice, June, Sophie, Mandy from the other side of the pond. Hello. Guy, Grace, Lee. Evening, Lee. Uh, Mum and Dad. Fabulous. Um, five quizzes. We'll start with quiz number one, I think. It's a general knowledge round, just to ease us into this Friday. It's very easy, these questions. Just relax and breathe. And here we go with quiz number one. Come on, Bellwood quizzes. You know what to do. Here we go, question number one. In which four-person winter sport does the main piece of equipment have a maximum length of 3.8 metres? <laughs> In which four-person winter sport does the main piece of equipment have a maximum length of 3.8 metres? Dead easy. And number two, Germany shares a border with how many other nations? So Germany shares a border with how many other nations? Give you a clue, it's less than 20. Evening, Maxine. Evening, the Dixons. Here's number three. Which of the Great Lakes is 193 miles in length and 53 miles wide? So which of the Great Lakes is 193 miles long and 53 miles wide? Shelley, good evening. Hope you're relaxed. Number four. What is the Scottish word for a small stream or brook? So what's the Scottish word for a small stream or a brook? Where are my maracas? Here's number five. Crummock, I can't even say it. Crummock Water lies in which national park? Crummock Water lies in which national park? It's in the UK, if that helps. Does that help, Julie? That's right, it does, Avril. And question number six, the River Darling is the third longest river in which country? So the River Darling is the third longest river in which country? Is that a clue I gave you? I hope not. Are we being kind here? To the nearest 10, what percentage of the earth is covered by water? To the nearest 10%, what percentage of the earth is covered by water? I just need a number. Is less than a hundred percent. Just to let you know, Lee. And number eight, which organization bought Lucas Films in 2014? So which organization bought the Lucas Film franchise in 2014? So that was all your Star Wars and all that lot, wasn't it? But which company or organization bought them? That's question eight. Is number nine. Scandalous. Plant high would like emotion. Well, flush. Scandalous was a 2003 hit for which girl group? So, so scandalous. Uh, was a 2003 hit for which girl group? Oh, mention. Kev Johnson. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Linny. Uh, what is the English meaning of sous chef? So question 10, what's the English meaning of sous chef? Come on Kev, pull your finger out. How's that fish cake? Uh, 11, in relation to communications, for what does the I stand for in ISDN? I didn't know this one at all, still can't remember it now. So in relation to communications, what does the I stand for in ISDN? It's like ISDN modems and stuff, wasn't it? But what does the I stand for? And question 12, the world's first quartz wristwatch 
was invented by which company? The world's first quartz wristwatch was invented by which company? Question 12. And 13, folic acid and folate acid are two forms of which vitamin? Folic acid and folate are two forms of which vitamin? So which vitamin is folic acid from? Google it quick. Fourteen, Esteril is a motor racing circuit in which country? Esteril is a motor racing circuit in which country? One more to go and then we can have a rest. And here she pops. Question 15, for what would you use a muddler? What would you use a muddler for? Judith, what would you use a muddler for? Question 15, there we go. So there we go. How did we get on with that? It wasn't too bad, was it? Some, some tricky ones in there. Uh, I believe I've just had a ping uh, through the internet. Uh, it's somebody's birthday tomorrow, Debbie Dixon. Happy birthday. Let's see if the video works. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. can't tell you the age that um, the people had put there, but I won't, I won't, you know. Uh, anyway, have a lovely birthday tomorrow. Uh, don't forget, it's your day. You can do what you want and boss people around. Uh, here we go. Quiz number one. Let's mark it. Uh, so for which four-person winter sport does the main piece of equipment have a maximum length of 3.8 metres? Well, that's a bobsleigh. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, two, Germany shares its borders with how many other nations? Apparently that's nine not going to name them because I've not got them written down. At number three, which of the Great Lakes is 193 miles in length and 53 miles wide? That's Ontario. Four. Debbie says thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day tomorrow, Debs. At four, what's the Scottish word for a small stream or brook? Apparently that is a burn. And five, a crummock. Crummock water lies in which national park? I've got a cat coming up. Uh, apparently that's in the Lake District. And number six, the River Darling is the third longest river in which country? That's Australia. Seven, to the nearest 10%, what percentage of the earth is covered by water? And it's 70%. Apparently it's 71%. There we go. Not if you leave the tap running. And number eight, which organisation bought Lucasfilms in 2014? That's the Disney Corporation. Nine, So So Scandalous was a 2003 hit for which girl group? That was Mystique. Ten, what English meaning... Uh, what's the English meaning for sous chef? That is under chef, apparently. Ooh. 11, in relation to communications, what does the I stand for in ISDN? That's integrated, apparently. I'd probably put internet on that, but integrated is the answer. Uh, 12, the world's first quartz wristwatch was invented by which company? That was Seiko. 13, folic acid and folate are two forms of which vitamin? That's vitamin B9. 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 Uh, Esteril. Is a motor racing circuit in which country? That's in Portugal. And number 15, what would you use a muddler for? It's for mixing drinks. Simple as that. Tot up your scores out of 15. Let's see how you did. Happy birthday, Debbie. So how did we all find that? It wasn't too bad, was it? Or was it? Who knows? Let's see for your scores to come through. Just taking time for night. Here we go. They've all come through really quick. Zoe, good score to start the week with an 11. 11 from the other side of the pond. Julian Avril, oh, legs 11. Karen, 11. What's going on here? Everybody cheating tonight. Kathy's got an 11. Janice with an 8. 
a terrible Shelly, don't man, just put a one in front of it, it doesn't matter. Um, that's the Dixons, I think, isn't it? Six, that doesn't matter at all, right. Uh, Dad, up to six, well done, that's good. Ten for Grace, well done. Guy with a seven. Stuart only got an eight, poo poo. Uh, at the Dixons, there we are, eight, fifteen, no, that's not too bad. Peter Andre, is it tough? Oh, you haven't seen anything yet, whoops. Uh, from Diggerland was an eight, well done, Diggerland. Uh, Jane and John, it was a stinker, that was a ten, it's a good score though. Uh, Judith with a 12. Your cat is hilarious, don't care about anything. No, he doesn't. No, that's Harley, that one. 14, Sophie. Very good start. Lee with a 7. Be happy. Oh, but no, be happy. June with a 10. Yes, Bob with an 8. Uh, Danielle with a 12. Looks lovely where you stay. Might pop round this weekend. Yeah, give you, give you a little quiet hour with the kids. Uh, Avril. Alexa working hard, <laughs> I bet. That's some good scores there. Oh, she's just popped up now. So, 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 that wasn't too bad. Well, yeah, okay, it was. Uh, if we crack on to quiz number two, it's another general knowledge round. Are we ready? Are we braced? Come on, Danielle, sit back, breathe and breathe. Is my door armed? Is my galley secure? It is, let's go with quiz number two. Come on. Here we go. Question number one. Which Irish city has a name meaning marsh? So which Irish city has a name meaning marsh? Might be something that you put in the top of a bottle. I'm not giving the answers away. I'm just giving you a clue. Question number two. Boy in Da Corner, 2003, was a breakthrough album for which rapper? Boy in Da Corner, 2003, was a breakthrough album for which rapper? Not a clue. Shall I tell you the answer? Dizzy Rascal. There you go. Write it down. Everybody's got one right. There we go. Question number three. In which decade was Hollyoaks first broadcast? So in which decade was Hollyoaks first broadcast? Come on, Carl. I know you used to watch that. Every afternoon you'd be home at six o'clock to watch it. At number four, what was Buddy Holly's real first name? So what was Buddy Holly's real first name? No, if you don't know, make it up. I don't know. Number five, who played the character Poison Ivy in the 1997 film Batman and Robin? So who played the character Poison Ivy in the 1997 film Batman and Robin? And question number six, what was the title of Frankie Goes to Hollywood's second album. Think where they're from and that's a big clue. So what was the title of Frankie Goes to Hollywood's second album? All right, Jamie, calm down, calm down. And number seven, the 1960s cartoon character Quick Draw McGraw was what type of animal? So the 1960s cartoon character Quick Draw McGraw was what type of animal? Question seven, these are horrible questions, aren't they? So here we go, question number eight. Kalamondin, kaffir, and Persian are all types of what fruit? <sighs> oh, that tricky one. Number nine, in golf, what term is given to the right to first play? So you say, oh, well, you go before me. So what term is that? It's called something. Oh, you, no, after you, it's your whatever. That's the word we want. What is it in golf? What's the term given to the right of play first? 
Number 10. In which US state is nicknamed the Cotton State? So which US state is nicknamed the Cotton State? Question 10. Aren't these lovely questions for a Friday? And question number 11. What was the nickname of Morgan Freeman's character in The Shawshank Redemption? So what was the nickname of Morgan Freeman's character in The Shawshank Redemption? What was his nickname? Question 11. These are horrible questions, aren't they? I did them last Saturday in a fit of rage. At 12, Tiny Tim is a variety of which salad item? Tiny Tim is a variety of which salad item? Have you got a Tiny Tim on your plate? Need my tail. I can't stand them. Horrible things. 13. Where are the headquarters for the European Court of Justice? So where are the headquarters for the European Courts of Justice? It's in Europe, it's not in the UK. Have a think where everybody goes. Question 14. How many years did it take Michelangelo to paint the Sistine Chapel ceiling? So how many years did it take Michelangelo to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? A couple of years, I reckon. I wonder if he got his paintbrushes from B&Q. And number 15. In which film does Hugh Grant play Will Thacker? So in which film does Hugh Grant play Will Thacker? Question 15. Delightfully finished off. Wasn't too, they were horrible questions, weren't they? Uh, I think let's mark this one and get it out of the way. So question one, uh, which Irish city was the name meaning Marsh? That was Cork. Number two, I wonder if anybody got this one. Boy in Da Corner, 2003, was a breakthrough album for which rapper? It was Dizzy Rascal. Well done if you've got that right. You must be clever. <sighs> and Danielle, Danielle, this is for you. In which decade was Hollyoaks first broadcast? I well, know you and Carl sat there every night watching it. It was in the 1990s. It was 1995. Blimey, that's mad, isn't it? Number four, what was Buddy Holly's real first name? Apparently that was Charles. Didn't know that at all. Uh, five, who played the character Poison Ivy in the 1997 film Batman and Robin? That was Una Thurman. Number six, what was the title of Frankie Goes to Hollywood's second album? I'd be amazed if anybody got that right without little encouragement. It was called Liverpool. Don't even know any songs off that one at all, but I might have a listen later on. At number seven, the 1960s cartoon character Quick Draw McGraw was what type of animal? That was a horse. Uh, Calamondim, Carifa and Persian are all types of what fruit? I can't even say it. Uh, they are limes. Kaffir, isn't it? Sorry. At number nine, in golf, what term is given to the right of first play? That's the honour. Uh, at number 10, which US state is nicknamed the Cotton State? That is Alabama. And 11, what time? Uh, what was the nickname given to Morgan Freeman's character in The Shawshank Redemption? That was Red. 12, Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim Karen uh, is a variety of which salad item? Apparently it is a tomato. 13, where are the headquarters for the European Court of Justice? They are Luxembourg. 14. How many years did it take Michelangelo to paint the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel? If you're a year either side, you can still have a point. Because I think we need the points this week. Apparently it was four years. At 15. In which film does Hugh Grant play Will Thacker? That was Notting Hill. Of course it was. Tot up your scores. Out of 15. Let's see how you did. B 
bit of a shocker, wasn't it, that round? <laughs> wasn't too good. So scores will start coming in in a few seconds. Some tricky questions in there. Oh, but look. I can't remember who that is. 15 out of 15. Just pop your name in the front of it. That would be splendid. But well done, 15. Uh, Mandy from to the side up. Pondy with a 10. Well done. Zoe smashed it with a 7. Sophie on for a good score this week so far with a 12. Janice, Janice, Janice with an 8. Shelly, Shelly, Shelly with a 9. Kathy, Kathy, Kathy with a 7. Avril and Julie, Avril and Julie, Avril and Julie with a 7. That's all right. Only, uh, okay. Only joking with a 5. Cheating so and so is. Uh, Pete, legs 11. <whistles> uh, Stuart's chart, you better tech. Well done, Stuart. The Dixon's got a 6. That's all right. No tiny Tim tonight. <laughs> Tell him I said hello anyway, but seven from Karen. Uh, Jane and John, that's a good score, Jane and John. Be pleased with that score. It was a horrible round. Grace, smashing it. Must have been all that wine earlier on. Well done. Lee with a six, it's all right, Lee. They're dug in the key. Three. Not to worry, Mum and Dad. Woohoo, 13 for June. Well done. A huge eight from you, Diggard Kev. Guy going down, no cheating. Well, that doesn't matter. Start cheating, Guy. Doesn't matter. Uh, Judith with an 11, Bob with an 8. Daniel and Carl just sat there looking at the Welsh countryside, watching all the seagulls <laughs> with a 9. Good score. Time for another gin. I absolutely agree with you, Grace. I think you should have another gin. In fact, it's time for us all to go and have a little quick fill up. Are you ready? We've got 60 seconds. It's a trolley dash. On your marks, get set, go! Oh, and we are back. That 60 seconds goes too quick, doesn't it? Uh, I must say, Lynn, bone to pick with you. That side of that dark fruits. Oh, it's the devil, isn't it? It's fabulous. I'm on my ninth can. Uh, anyway, we are back. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, are you ready for quiz number three? Say what you see. A bit like emojis, but they're not emojis. So you'll see a picture. I'll tell you what. We'll show you the first one. I'll give you the first one, and then you'll understand what it's like. Otherwise, be a nightmare. Be here all night. Here's quiz number three. Say what you see. So, you're going to see some things. So, this one, number one. What is that? What does that mean? So, that is top of the morning. You get it? Top of the morning. So, you've got one right. Anyway, so that's top of the morning. See morning cut in half, top of it. Yes, we know how it works now. Are we ready? Here comes number two very shortly. Here's number two. So what do you see? Just tell me what you see. Dead easy, isn't it? So you see the word and an arrow. Here we go, here's number three. So, do you know what the word spells? And then what shape is it? I don't give any clues here, I shouldn't be doing this. Got some nice music for you there. Get guys just chilling out there. So what's that? What is Violet doing? 
got another one of these quizzes coming up tonight as well. So if you don't get it now, you're snookered. So as Roy Walker would say, just say what you see. Just say what you see. And here's number seven, just swinging its way in. Just say what you see, what is it? I can't remember myself. <laughs> I've got the answers in front there, I think. But just say what you see. And here's number eight. give you a clue on that one. So what's in the O? And what are they in? There you go, you've got it. Well done, Grace. Is number nine. So what's the big letter? And it's through the other word. You've got it now. Well done. Here's number 10. Easy one, that. I think these were in the days before emojis. Oh, in the 80s, I remember. Oof. Let me speak and spell. Here's number 11. What's happened to the word? Number 12, I think that's an easyish one, that. Again, just say what you see. The first time you see it, just write it down. If you don't know mum and dad, pop the kettle on now, you'll be right. Just topping up the strongbow. Is that a tricky one? Ooh. Can't remember that one myself. Here's number eight. A bit like the other one. But what does it say this time? Question 14. One more to go. Then you can breathe if you didn't get any of these. Good luck for later on. And number 15. So what's happening there? The word reading is what? Music's hypnotic, isn't it, guy? But you're dancing around your room just in your pyjamas. So how did we find that one? You either get them or you don't. So we'll not ponder too much on them, but let's mark them. So number one I gave you was top of the morning. Number two was cash point. Number three, and where did you get that? It spelt Bermuda and it was in a triangle, Bermuda triangle. Number three, number four was shrinking violet. Number five, assassinate. Number eight, uh, number six, sorry, ambiguous. Number seven, just between you and me. Number eight, two peas in a pod. And number nine was the big C through the word blouse. So that was see through blouse. There we go. Number 10 was on the run. 
11 split second, 12 was go between, and 13 right between the eyes. Of course it was. 14 was exterminate, and number 15 was reading between the lines. So, write down your scores if you dare. Let's see how you did. Because if you did well in this one, you'll probably do well in quiz five. If you did horrendous in it, well, let's get the macrame out. Here we go, scores coming through already. Oh, people like this one. A 12 from Zoe, that's good. Janice with a 10. Oh, these are good scores, these are good scores. Shelley with a 13, yes, Kathy, 14. Woohoo! Must be all that fresh sea air. Well done, Daniel and Carl. Fabulous, 15, smashed it. Karen, 14, well done. Jane and John, 13, amazing. Sophie, 11. Stuart, 13 plus 2. Thank you. Uh, Julian Avril, 14, well cheated. Uh, well done, I mean. Uh, Mandy from the other side of the pod, the big cheesy grin there with a 14, well done. Uh, Pete, 13, and fabulous, 8. That was tough. Well, everybody else didn't think so, Kev. You should concentrate. Double figures, Dakai, well done. Kev, it's a good score, 8. Be proud of that. Lee got an 8 as well, and he's happy. Uh, Dad, 9, well done. Grace, 12, you like that one. Another one coming up a bit like that in a few minutes. Um, Andy, I don't know why my name isn't coming up. You need to click the link. Um, when we go live, there's like a link that you have to click. It gives you permission for me to use your picture. Ah, uh, where are we? Bob, much better. 14, fabulous. June with a 14. Judith, terrible seven. He's not terrible. It's a good seven if it was a general knowledge round. It's absolutely fine. So, my little lovelies, let's go for a break. Get your little pinkies running to the fridge and top up your drinky poos. And we'll see you in a few minutes. Toodaloo.
Well, hello and welcome back, Bell Quizzes. After your little breakout, which is lovely. Oh, there's a minion coming in here now. Hello, minion. Hello. Hello. Uh, we will crack on very quickly with quiz number four. Some more general knowledge questions just to get your brain bamboozled. Here we go, Bellwood Quizzes. Quiz number four. Come on. Question number one. Cavendish is a variety of what fruit? Cavendish is a variety of what fruit? And question number two. The village of Nurher can be found in which Spanish province? So the village of Nurher Nerja, if you want to say it that way, can be found in which Spanish province? Question number two. Get your atlas out. Question number three. A monkey is slang for how many pounds? In money, that is. So a monkey is slang for how many pounds? Question number three. And question number four, what type of drink is a manzanilla? What type of drink is a manzanilla? We'll have a manzanilla on the rocks, please. Oof. I get my first aid kit out. Number five, who played Arthur Fowler in EastEnders? So who played Arthur Fowler in EastEnders? Question number five, what was his real name? What was it, Bellwood Quizzes? And question number six. Which root vegetables were used to sweeten, as a sweetener, sorry, in European countries before the arrival of cane sugar? So which root vegetables were used as a sweetener in European countries before the arrival of cane sugar? Have a guess if you don't know. I'd have a guess. I don't know. And number seven, of what is histology the study of? So of what is histology the study? What would you study if you were a histologist? Question number seven. And question number eight, in which century did Ivan the Terrible live? So in which century did Ivan the Terrible live? I don't know. And question number nine, in which English town became the first to be twinned with Walt Disney World? Which English town became the first to be twinned with Walt Disney World? If anybody gets this right without cheating, you get 10 points, because what a stupid, ridiculous question. But what English town was it? At number 10, what's the UK's largest bird of prey? What's the UK's largest bird of prey? Question 10. Some nasty questions this week, isn't there? Question number 11. Muckle Flugger. Muckle Flugger is what type of building? Muckle Flugger is what type of building? Hmm. Muckle Flugger. Quite a tall building. And number 12. Which country hosted the 2010 Commonwealth Games? So which country hosted the 2010 Commonwealth Games? Question 12. The pain is nearly gone for the weekend. Uh, 
At number 13, John Cleese and Jamie Lee Curtis starred in which 1988 comedy film? So John Cleese and Jamie Lee Curtis starred in which 1988 comedy? Question 13. And question 14, how many golden stars are there on the flag of the European Union? So how many golden stars are there on the flag of the European Union? And question 15, in which sport would you encounter an oxer? So in which sport would you encounter an oxer, O-X-E-R, a boxer without the B. So which sport would you encounter an oxer? Ooh, there were some nasty ones. Nasty, nasty ones in there, wasn't there? Uh, should we mark it? I think we should, and then we can move on. So question number one, Cavendish is a variety of what fruit? That's a banana. Number two, the village of Nerja or Nerja uh, can be found in which Spanish providence or province? That side is working. It's Malaga. Uh, number three, a monkey is slang for how many pounds? That's 500. And uh, number four, what type of drink is a manzanilla? That's a sherry. There you go. At uh, five, who played Arthur Fowler in EastEnders? That was Bill Teacher. And uh, number six, which root vegetables were used as sweeteners in European countries? Before the arrival of cane sugar, anybody get that one? If you did, well done. Parsnips, apparently. Ugh, imagine that in your cup of tea. Well, have two parsnips, thanks. Uh, number seven, of which is histology the study? It's of tissue, animal or plant matter. So histology is the study of tissue, animal or plants. There we go. Eight, in which century did Ivan the Terrible live? That was 16th century. At nine, which Europe, uh, sorry, which English town became the first to be twinned with Walt Disney World? Anybody get this? It's a random question. Uh, Swindon, Swindon, apparently. There you go. Never knew that. Don't really want to know that. At uh, ten, what's the UK's largest bird of prey? It's the white-tailed eagle. And eleven, muckle flugger. I bet Dad, I bet you get this one. Muckle flugger is what type of building? It's a lighthouse. 12. Uh, which country hosted the 2010 Commonwealth Games? That was India. 13. John Cleese and Jamie Lee Curtis starred in which 1988 comedy? That was A Fish Called Wanda. And number 14. How many golden stars are there on the European flag? That's 12. And number 15. In what sport would you encounter an oxer? And an oxer you would find in show jumping. Of course, why wouldn't you? Uh, tot up your scores. Don't be embarrassed. Just pop it down. Come on. I know, flipping Nora Zoe. It was a nasty one, that, wasn't it? Six is still good, though. I'm sure there'll be people worse off than you. Don't you worry about it. Well, yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, Kev, three. Well done, Kev. Yeah, thanks for trying. Janice, three. I know they were horrible questions, weren't they? We need a digger key. Zero, blimey. Grace, oh my God, five. Dixon, six. Kathy, four. Shelley with a five. We're moving through this quick. Terrible. Have another gin, love, or Prosecco. You'll be fine. Still not bad, score five. Stuart Pathetic, it's actually a very good seven. Uh, June with a five, Pete with a six. Nine, Jane and John, that's a really good score. I think that's the highest. Although Avril and Julie. Blimey, Alexa must have been working hard there with an 11, well done. Uh, Mandy, embarrassing two. They were horrible questions, weren't they? Karen with a two. That was hard, minus one. <laughs> well done, Lee. Seven, I know, I'm sorry, guy. The last round's nice, though. Uh, hand your eggs in shame. Three, don't worry about it. Sophie, eight out of 15. But because Manzanella in Spain, you would be disappointed if you expected a sherry. You will get chamomile tea. 
Oh, really? I didn't know it's chamomile tea in Spain. Interesting. I could do with a chamomile tea. Or calm me down after those questions. Uh, Bob with a seven. Not to worry. Judith with an 11. That's a good score. It was. <laughs> I bet it was. Cheeky devils. So, we're back. Just looking at my minion down the garden there. Uh, the last round now, picture play. A bit like the other round. You're going to see a picture. I just want you to tell me what that picture says. So I'll give you a clue. I'll give you the first one. And then you've got 14 to get. Oh, are we ready, Bellwood Quizzers? Oh, but we, first we do, before we do, I think there's somebody else's birthday. Somebody's two tonight or today, aren't they? Luna, happy birthday. Oh! Woo, 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 woo. Happy birthday to you. It's not me gone mad. Luna's a dog, by the way. Happy birthday, Luna. Happy birthday. Uh, here we go. Quiz number five. Come on, let's do this, Bellwood Quizzes. Shabba. So, picture play. Here we go. I will give you the first one. Here it comes. So, what do you see there? So, you see eyes. It's not a ship. It's a liner. So, eyeliner. Eyeliner. Yes. She was actually watching the screen. Fantastic, excellent. So eyeliner, there you go. That's the only clue I'm going to give you. So you've got 14 attempts to get some points. Come on, Bellwood Quizzes. Here we go with number two. Just say what you see. <laughs> Five seconds, here we go. So again, just say what you see. So you've got one right at least. So what's number two? Here's number three. What is that? What's it pointing to? Just jot it down. Give me the answer. Dead easy. After that last round, we need something to uh, boost our morale and spirits. Question three. Number four is coming very shortly. It's just a little bit tired. Question number four. Just write down what it's doing. I think the strongbows are starting to take effect now. It's all becoming fuzzy. Here's number five. What is that? Write it down. Six. Are these trickier than the last lot? I don't know. So it's something punch, I'll give you that. I can't remember what the first bit, oh, I remember what it was. What's the punch coming from? Number six, here's number seven. one was now oh yes I remember just write down what you can see number seven is number eight Cheeky number nine. What do you see? They're like old fashioned emojis if you had a Nokia, aren't they? That you sent a picture of black and white. <laughs> so number nine, just say what you can see there. Here's number 10. Need them in this game, don't you?
number 11. What is it? What are they wearing? People like these. Number 12. Number 12. Just say what you see. It's simple as that, that one. What is it? What's happening? And number 13, three more to go. And then you can relax for the weekend. And number 14, what's happening to those circles? You start from the outside working in, what's happening? They are you're right, yeah, well done, Bob. Yes, write it down quick. Come on, Bob, before anybody else copies. The last question of the night, week 61. What is it? Not the Wuhan family, but <laughs> what is it? Write it down if you know. Come on, last question of the night, Bellwood quizzes. Shabba. Ooh, so how did we find picture play? Quite nice, better than the uh, the last quiz, wasn't it? Those 15 questions. Uh, should we mark it? Well, everybody would have got eyeliner, hopefully. Uh, number two was eye opener. Number three was end of the line. Four, drink like a fish. Number five was a dog's dinner. Number six was a dummy punch. Number seven, anybody get that? Was a disc jockey. Oh. Number eight was Dog's Dinner. Number nine was Fan Club. Uh, number 10, easy one, I think that eyes in the back of your head. Number 11 was Family Ties. They were all wearing ties. 12 was easy, face to face. 13 was Driving Up the Wall. 14, everybody get that one? Anybody get that? Ever Decreasing Circles. Oh, horrible that one, that. And number 15, I think the best question of the night was Daddy Long Legs. Simple. Tot up your score out of 15 and give us your total out of 75. Good luck. So you can all breathe a sigh of relief. It's over. It's all done. Until next week. Uh, Janice with an 11, good score, Zoe, 13, Karen, 12. See, you don't need Tim, it's just a hindrance. Some good scores. Uh, Danielle and Carl with a 12, yes. Uh, Mandy from to the side up, Pond with a 12 as well, brilliant. Avril and Julie with a 9, it's all right, it's not bad at all. Dad, legs 11, well done. Uh, Kev with an 8, oh, well done. Best score yet, Lee. Be happy with that. A 12. It's a very good score. And that was the best round for me. You got 10. Well, well done, Claire. Well done. Uh, Jane and John with an 11. Shelley, 13. Gives you 45. Some nasty questions in there tonight, though, wasn't there? But it's a good score. Janice with a 50 to finish off on the night. Um, it is what taking part that take. Absolutely. I can't even speak. That side is nasty. Absolutely right. Dad, with your finishing total of 29, Jane and John. Smashed it with a 53. Well done. Uh, Kathy with a 50. You got 14 on the last one. It's a good score, that. Uh, Stuart with a 13. Gives you 50. Hopefully, easier next one. Well, yeah. Nine out of 15. <laughs> Especially after some. That's what it's all about, isn't it, Sophie? It's not about the quiz, it's just about getting smashed no it's not it's about the quiz and having fun absolutely kathy you're welcome uh, guy with a 10 that gives you 40 better look the look in the irish absolutely guy be fine next week mandy from the other side upon 49 you're welcome shelly shabbatastic uh pete 52 good score to finish well done dixon's with a 47 
Happy 13. I'm talking. They've been talking heads. Ah, oh, talking heads. Ah, get it, get it, get it, yeah. Well, well done anyway, Grace. Fabulous, 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 darling. Uh, Janice finishes off with a 40. Uh, June finishes with a 54. Wow, good score, June. Well done. Uh, lowest ever, but nobody's counting, Karen. It's fine. 46 is fine. Sophie with a 54. I think you're joint first at the moment. Judith, 52. So we thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, Bob. 51 for Bob. Good score, Bob. You're welcome, Mummy Julie. So, Bellwood Quizzers, we will see you next week for Quiz 63. It's <laughs> ridiculous. You're welcome, Jane and John. Uh, we will see you next week for Quiz 63. I will try and make it a bit easier, but we're starting to run out of questions, all the easy ones we've used. We might just have a brain box session. But anyway, who knows? Listen, stay safe, take care, wherever you are. Have a lovely weekend. I've got to dig a ton of sand this weekend. Yay. Exciting. Uh, but anyway, cheers to the cider. Cheers to everybody. Take care. Shabba.